Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for July 2nd through the 8th. I do apologize that it's a little bit late. I've, I've had a lot uh, going on lately, so here we go. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically my readings are love readings, so if you aren't looking for love and you hate people, then you probably shouldn't watch. Um, this is for Scorpio. This will not resonate with everybody, but this reading is for somebody. I don't know who, but we're going to find out. Oh, there could be some sadness, sadness, unhappiness. Maybe you're feeling negative at this time. Yeah, you're probably in your emotions a little bit. There's a feeling of, of freedom, so maybe you are... Maybe you're freeing yourself from a negative situation because this is personal freedom. This is liberation. And when you're in the upright, it's like you're the master of your emotions. You're doing quite well emotionally. So maybe emotionally you're feeling okay. Maybe you're, because this is, this is cutting out. This is saying goodbye, perhaps, to that negativity. You could have been dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that wasn't very nice. Somebody that was selfish, greedy, wasn't doesn't care about love. Could be anybody, but this is another person, which isn't you. Could be any sign that isn't focused on love. All they're focused on is their money. Ooh, ooh. So, oh, okay. Get this zoomed in. So Scorpio, it looks as though your challenge for this week is maybe a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But it could also just be the energy of this king. This is focus, concentration, energy, um, passion. That's your that's your challenge. That's in your challenge position. So maybe your challenge this week is to still have confidence in yourself, to be strong. You know, you have the power to manifest whatever you want. This is what this is. You have all you have to do is take action to bring success to your life. This is about taking the lead, being your own boss. You know, just um, raising your vibration. Okay, these are so I think that probably this week that's what your challenge is: is to keep your vibration on high. You know, to find that ambition within you to prosper, whatever you want to call it. I feel as though you were dealing with a situation in which there was no security, there was no promise there. You know, you were dealing with somebody who wasn't really focused on a commitment or whatever. And I feel as though this at this time your challenge is just moving on, finding that confidence to... Yeah, whatever, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fine, I'm good, you know, I'm still going to be happy and walk around with a smile on my face, you know, and I'm not going to let this hold me back. So your challenge is to remain excited, you know, don't let this person that brought you down keep you down, okay? So I feel like this is a time of liberation, it's a time of freedom, it's a time of, of following your own path, believing in yourself, listening to your inner guide, no longer sacrificing yourself for a situation or st or staying involved in a situation that had no stability, you know. It wasn't. It was a false connection because that's what this is. So your challenge, again, is about remaining positive, looking for a better outlook, but, uh, taking the lead in your own life. I feel as though other people see that you are beautiful they see that you are tranquil they see that you are calm they see that you are very communicative you know you communicate very well they see that you're you're moving forward they see that you're not staying stuck that you did go through a period of sadness a period of of unhappiness but i think it comes and it goes i don't think you held on to that that sun card is in the past so thank god this period of negativity that you may have been had going on up there in the air of your head you've moved on from it and other people can see that they see that you believe in yourself. They see that you have faith, and that's fantastic. 
I feel as though, but the overall outcome of this reading is the Ace of Swords reverse. This is <sighs> lack of clarity. So I'm not sure what that is. That's lack of clarity, lack of truth. So I'm not sure what this is. I'm going to get a clarifier on that one. But right next to that Magician card, it tells me, this is advice, that you have the power and the resources within you to get whatever you want. But maybe this is saying that you don't, maybe you don't know that. This is lack of awareness, and this is awareness. So the overall outcome is for you to remember that you have the power to manifest whatever you want. Don't give up. Don't give up. Just because this person up here was an ass doesn't mean the rest of them are going to be. And I think, or that, you know, that you have to give up hope. Keep the faith. And I think that's exactly what you're doing. You know, just remember that you are one. You have a oneness about you. You have a divine connection. Use it to your advantage. Ooh, yeah, there's been some sort of loss and you have another opportunity. This is what this is. There's been a loss. There's been a, a heartache here that you may have been focused on for a little while and maybe you still are a little bit but you do have a new prospect this is beginning to realize the truth that you know i do i do have somebody else or are you maybe you don't even see it at this point but i feel like right now your challenge is you know letting go of this situation that didn't work out and realizing that you still have a two of cups waiting for you you still have love it's still it's still tall it's still standing it's still there it's just you haven't seen it yet you haven't seen it yet. It's coming. Manifest it. It's coming. Have faith. Have faith. I'm getting the goosebumps. Some sort of relationship didn't work out because it was fake. It was fake. But don't lose your faith. That didn't lead to wish fulfillment and happiness because God's God's rejection or whatever. Rejection is God's protection. I don't know the crow, but that's what this is. You were being protected. You weren't meant to go down that road. Whatever it was that made you, ha made you uh, unhappy and sad, that wasn't meant to be. And the thing is, is, is here, the star card reverse is loss of faith. Here we have faith. Keep the faith. Just because something didn't work out, you may have started to lose hope and love for a minute or whatever, a day or a week or whatever it is. You may feel like you're never going to find love. Don't, no, don't, stop. Don't do that. You are absolutely going to find love because you have the power to manifest as you have. This is a divine connection as above, so below. You wish for it, you believe it, and it will come. Okay, trust me. Trust me, it will. Your thoughts become things. That's what that magician is. I mean, and you have this one right next to it. Don't lose your hope. This this will bring it down. If you take this sword of truth, this sword of power, because this is the sword of power, and point it towards the ground, you ain't manifesting it. You have to point this to the to the to the roof, to the sky. You know, you have to put it back up and you need to wake up. And realize that the power is in your hands. The power is in your hands to manifest this new Two of Cups. You have to have the confidence to do that. And you have to have the ambition and the energy to do that. Don't let this situation that broke you down hold you back. Yeah, you definitely could be dealing with an earth sign. We do have all the signs. It doesn't really matter. We just, we do. I mean, all the signs are incorporated into this reading. But you were dealing with somebody that, or this could be you. Do you have time for love? Somebody that in the situation, whether it's you or the other person, doesn't have time for love. They're focused on their money. They're focused on their job. They're focused on their home. They're focused on everything but love. Selfish. Yeah, they were only focused on their money, whoever it was that you were dealing with. But you are missing a new opportunity you are missing a new opportunity by not realizing that you have the power to manifest not manifesting now we have three ones one 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 only one of them is upright <coughs> excuse me this is a card of manifestation this is a card of manifestation <coughs> 
Excuse me, I tried to hold that back. <clears throat> Didn't work out. Had to sneeze. Anyway, um, this is a card of manifestation. This is a card of manifestation. This one is reversed. This one says that you are, you're holding back. You're not, you're pointing your, your power at the ground. This is a card of power and manifestation. Power, manifestation, okay? So if you don't use your power to manifest, you're in trouble, okay? This card is saying you find that power to manifest and it will come. It's there. It's waiting for you to manifest it, Scorpio. It's waiting for you. So if you're waiting for something, you know, it's, you have the power. You do. You do have the power. I don't know where these cards were. We're just going to lay out some more. Um, one, one, one. Your thoughts become things. I already told you that. You know, if you want to, if you think negatively, then that's what you're going to get. If you think positively, then that's what you're going to get. You have a new opportunity waiting for you if you, whenever you're ready to flip that card around. But it's, it's, it's your, you're the magician of your life. Nobody else. You need to free yourself. You, this was a toxic situation. This is restoring control, taking back control. Somebody has stole your power. You take it back. Take it back. This this devil card reversed is taking back your power. No shit. And this is too, the Ten of Swords. It's liberation. That's starting over again. You will find happiness. You will find a commitment. You will find something that is beautiful. It's a dream come true. But you have to be able to deal with the conflict that you're, that you're going through right now. This is conflict that needs to be dealt with. Okay? Don't go too fast. This page moves too fast. Slow down. Manifest it. Take your time. Don't try so hard. Don't try so hard to get the wrong one. It takes time to manifest the right one. Maybe you're not having maybe you're not putting yourself out there. Maybe you need to start dating. Maybe you need to have more fun. Doesn't look like maybe you need to let your friends help you. Maybe you need to get your friends involved. Maybe you need to while you are manifesting and you're feeling lonely, maybe you need to hang out with friends. I don't know. Right now you're somebody is emotionally unavailable. There's lack of emotion here because I think that you have dealt with somebody who rejection and you have to you still have to get over it that's what it looks like to me so therefore you may you may not be be being as playful as you need these cards both reverse say that being playful is needed get out there and be playful have some fun that's going to bring make you think positive Okay, and it's going to start that manifestation process. If you're having fun, if you're smiling, you're, you know, whatever, being happy, that already starts to bring positive into your life. So you need to get out there and have fun. That's, that's definitely a message. Go out with your friends. Let your friends help you. Take all the time you need. There's no need to rush to rush this one, okay? There's no need to rush this manifestation. Take your time. Take your time. It's time to heal. It's time to bring back your beauty. It's time to find your strength and relight that fire within you. This is another card of oneness. We have oneness here. Look at, I mean, oneness. I mean, listen to me. Okay, you guys have the power to get whatever you want, period. It's all in your head, it's all in your thoughts, it's all in your actions. It is. You're a beautiful soul. Everybody sees that you're a beautiful soul. Everybody. All you have to do now is find the strength, the confidence, and the courage to open up your heart one more time. So that is what I have. I'm going to get you a couple of angel romance cards for Scorpio. Do I see a new love coming in? No, no, because you have to manifest it. You have to manifest it. If you are in a relationship, (sighs) 
you have, the, if you're in a relationship now, there is an opportunity to fix it if there's problems. There is. There's an opportunity to fix it if you can let go of negativity. Okay? If you can be open to change. If you can be open to um, starting over again. But, you know, it, it appears to me that somebody has brought you down big time. Big time. And you need to... You need to deal with that. You need to cut that. You need to cut that out. You need to cut that out of your thoughts. Cut that out of your life. I think it's a. I think it's a, a Capricorn with that Devil card. It's a Capricorn or it's a Taurus or a Virgo. That's a, that's the person that is causing you the most problems. And it's time for you to find your strength and your confidence to move on from this person and manifest this new connection that you've been dreaming about whether you're in a couple or in single there's an opportunity that is available for you if you can cut this thing that that didn't work out out of your mind out of your heart for good it needs to be gone Woo! separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon I don't know if you're dealing with a Leo. We have Leo here. We have Leo here. You could be dealing with another water sign as well. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn many times. We also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So it doesn't really matter. But separation is here. And it's here. So it's in this area. So I'm not sure what this is. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. It could be if you're in a relationship now. Because it's right over that relationship card. Somebody's not being honest. Whatever. I mean, I can't... You... We're going to get another one. That's for somebody. They know who it is. Whoever that's for, they know who it is. Um, <coughs> Woo! We already talked about that one, too, didn't we? Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. That's a clear, clear, clear message. Let your friends help you this week. If you're struggling in any way, perhaps with a separation, whether it's with this earth sign or this Leo or the water sign, whoever it is, and you need, and there's been a separation, I don't care how long ago it was, or if you're contemplating it, you're thinking about a separation, because this could be thinking about a separation. Oh, I didn't even catch that either. This is thinking about a separation so, anyhow, um, let your friends help you. Let your friends help you during this time. And go out there and have fun and then manifest what you want because you have the power. And that is my message. Talk to you later.